The requirements for capital markets trading operations uh, are rather severe. Um, obviously, Wachovia is a universal bank, uh, does all kinds of retail banking operations and the like, and then retail brokerage. But the part that I deal with is the part where these very unhappy guys that you see in movies on TV scream when things are a half a second late. Um, in particular, so some of the things that are happening in this industry right now, uh, the value of financial transactions that are going through any of the exchanges, whether it's you know, uh, equities trading or, or, or um, structured products or the like, are increasing. Typically, the, the prediction is by threefold, while at the same time, the, the volume of transactions is increasing fivefold. And now, if you can think of those as escalating numbers uh, you know, in, in two-year, three-year trends, um, you can start to comprehend why it is that such a, a vast proportion of, uh, uh, of any financial institution's budget, particularly in these areas, is spent on keeping the lights on from an IT perspective. The other piece of this is traders, uh, irrespective of what kind of trader they are, have to have the most accurate information available at their fingertips at a moment's notice. When things change, they need to know right away. They get very unhappy. I was making a joke, but I've personally received several very um, unpleasant phone calls from folks because there's a you know, barely perceptible difference between what he sees coming in on one screen and another screen right next to him, feeding him the same information that he's comparing between the two of them. And the last part, program trading. Uh, does anybody here uh, know what program trading is or uh, algorithmic trading? Uh, we've got a gentleman in the back. So program trading or algorithmic trading is essentially, um, uh, think of it as artificial intelligence for trading operations. This is something that all the financial uh, institutions have been driving towards. Uh, the interesting statistics there are as little as two or three years ago, it was about 10% of the volume on the markets right now is driven by what they call program trading. At this point, it's more like 60% and growing. So this is literally machines making decisions to buy, sell, on, uh, and, and again, looking at microseconds worth of latency to help them make decisions on how can they be just slightly ahead of the market trends, and there's millions and millions of dollars at stake. So what happens? What's the fund that uh, I deal with and anybody else in this industry from an IT perspective has to deal with on a regular basis? Mr. Bernanke decides he's going to uh, raise interest rates or lower interest rates, or what's actually been happening over the last couple of weeks to, to many of our chagrin, um, rather large market swings. So volatility in the markets can drive very severe changes. What does that do? The, all of a sudden, the volume through the systems, front office, back office, middle office systems, explodes. You have ridiculously large networking links, you know, OC192 uh, links, things like that, that suddenly are consumed by these teeny tiny transactions because of the volumes they're experiencing. Uh, you see structured products, so credit products, uh, people that uh, take parts of different uh, 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 financial transactions, whether it's a retail mortgage or whatever, and turns it into a different security that uh, uh, another uh, uh, person will want to buy to offset their risk in a certain area, a bond or something of that nature. All of a sudden, those also have to be recalculated. They have to figure out, okay, if rates are down a quarter of a point now, what is that gonna do to me 10 years out, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years out? It's a very, very complex interaction and again, Anytime you're without the latest information, you're sitting in a position of risk. Um, global risk, market risk, portfolio valuations, many of these things are things that are typically done overnight. Uh, and in some banks, even large, large banks, you see some of these operations only being done on a weekly basis. And that's simply because of the, the incredibly computationally uh, large nature of the, the work that needs to be done. There simply aren't enough resources, uh, or at least there's not the, the balance of the uh, uh, financial incentives, if you will, to, to, to incrementally do more calculations and get that information on a daily basis. What happens if you have to do that during the middle of the day? You either have to significantly over-provision your resources or you have to um, accept that your folks are working with out-of-date out of information. Neither is a very good alternative.